you know, you've been playing sports your whole life. So you've been coached by so many, you know, different coaches. Do you have any favorite, like, I don't know, moments, coaching moments or, or something, uh, philosophy or something that stuck with you that you've learned throughout the years? <clears throat> um, you know, I've, I've, I've played for five different organizations. Um, I played for a tremendous amount of defensive coordinators and position coaches. So it was a ton of yeah. philosophies. And, and um, you know, and, and for me, is you know, I had to adjust to them all. I had to adjust sure. to them all, you know. And, That's got to be hard, too. Yeah, yeah. you know, and, and, and continue to prove myself year in and year yeah. out to say that I'm the best guy for your scheme in this position, even though I may not be the best technical at it, you know, uh, but I will try to make it work, right, as best I can. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I, I really enjoyed, you know, being around Coach Pagano, uh, well, first off, for Baltimore Ravens, uh, as, as, a, as a DB position coach and then the defensive coordinator. Uh, that's when I really met him. And then... Uh, you know, to have him as my coach in three years with the coach was, was phenomenal. With B.A. sprinkled in there as well. Uh, both of those guys brought a tremendous amount of information and knowledge to the game. Um, the, their style and approach to the players were, were different than truly player coaches. And the, the players rallied around those kind of guys because they yeah. treated them like men, you know. Um, yep. Yep. You know, I, I really don't believe college coaches can, can thrive in the NFL for long, sustainable point because you know they, they try to treat these grown men like college kids and you can't do that yeah you know these these grown sure. men with children and so when the coaches on the pro level treat the guys like they want to be treated and give them the space to be great you will be surprised the players will rise up for those for those coaches you know yeah uh, and so i i really enjoyed pagano i really enjoyed ba uh rod marinelli taught me so much about d-line play and, and 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 defensive schemes. Um, he was when he was my coach with the Lions. I, I, I truly credit a lot of my career um, accomplishments. Um, you know the plays I've made and things like that from Rob Marinelli. He taught me so much. Opened my eyes to the game. Whereas when I was in my younger days, I was only taught scheme and this is what yeah. you do. But I was never really taught why. I was never really taught why to do that. Uh, and and I Rod. See. Rod brought the why to the scheme and it showed me how I can how I can pivot off of the why if this change or this personnel change or this player motions, then he just opened my mind to the game in a whole different light. So those coaches really impacted my career and my life. Rod Marinelli, BA, uh, Bruce Arians, and uh Chuck Pagano. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Um you know, it sounds like do you have any desire to do any coaching yourself? Man, you sound you know, like you'd be a great coach, man, said, to be frank with you. I said, you know, I would never do that. But, you know, you know, uh, when you tell God something, your plans, he just laughs at you, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I truly – here we go. Never say never, right? I don't have a yeah, desire to coach on a collegiate level or pros or anything like that. But I love coaching my kids' little league games. Um I've been working with my two, both my sons, uh, Corey, Jim, and CJ, and Christian, uh, since they were in kindergarten and second grade with their, uh, you know, their sporting events. So I've coached now for the last seven seasons, uh, eight seasons, which is really two, uh, two times a year. So for flag football, we won a championship in one of those years, and and uh, I've, oh, I've nice. had these kids. I've had these kids from the first grade, man, and now they're in sixth grade, right? And so wow. Uh, um, seeing them develop has just been amazing. And now I'm working with my sure. son, CJ, who's a sixth grader. Uh, I'm working with him in discus because I was a two-time state champion in discus. And so I'm trying to get him prepared with his technique. Oh, wow. For, for his seventh grade uh, track season for next year. So I love the coach. I love to just pour my knowledge into the youth sure. because I have it here. I would be doing them a disservice if I didn't give back to them, you know, what I know, what I've yeah. learned to make them better sure. players. You know? Sure. No, absolutely. Of course. No, man, you sound like you'd be great. Co you have all this knowledge. You know what it takes. That's what, you know, you seem like, pe you know, the type of person that people would rally behind. And that's a good coach. I mean, I, I played sports growing up and the best coaches I had were people I wanted to do, 
you know, make proud and do well. You know what I mean? And you, like you said, you almost you're going to if you give them the space and you give them they, they will surprise you, man. People yeah. will come out because they're yeah. they're there for a reason, right? Like you're there to play for a reason. I mean, you love it. You you like playing. You you want to be there. You want to do your best. There's no doubt about that. Exactly. Uh, so, exactly. yeah, exactly. No, I, saw man, that's myself, awesome. I saw myself as a coach on the field. You know, I, was, I see. Uh, yeah. You know, I, you know, I was a captain the majority of my 13 years in the, in the NFL. And, and, you know, I, I saw myself as a leader of men. And I was basically the coach on the field. I remember all yeah. the checks and balances and, and the different calls and, and alerted all my guys to, you know, look out for this and look out for that while we were on the field and, and holding guys accountable, you know, and even myself. If, if we were in training camp or in practice and one of my DBs dropped an interception, that could have been taken back for a touchdown or to get our defense off the field to rest, put the ball back in the hands of our quarterback to score. If he dropped that pass, that was an amazing opportunity. I would run down the field, no matter how far it was, and make him do 10 push-ups because we are counting on him to make that play. You know, if I miss yeah. the sack, I'm doing 10 push-ups, you know, and if a linebacker missed the tackle, I'm making them do 10 push-ups. you got to wow. hold each other accountable, man, and when you do that, you make it more about team and us instead of me and I, sure. you know what I mean? You, you remove me and I from the middle, and you put team in the middle, and guys thrive. You will be yeah. amazed at how much they will go for the man to the left and the right of you. you know? Sure. Absolutely. And I, I'm assuming that's a big struggle, uh, you know, on the field is, is getting everyone to come together to play as one unit uh, sometimes, right? I, I would assume that that's it be is when It is when you have a bunch of individuals who are hard knows and, and don't really want to uh, adapt to team uh, sure. because if, if, if you really understand you don't have to be an individual to, to meet all the glory that you know you want to achieve in life you can still be a part of a team and still execute on your individual play to be a great player you know what I mean and, yeah. and I believe yeah. that when we win we all win there's enough on the table for everyone to eat if you look at it Tampa Bay Buccaneers, whoever was free agents, I promise you they stock went up when they won a Super Bowl, right? Yeah. And, and and the players who were there who were probably, uh, you know, coming up on contracts that, that was needed to be extended, the organization saw how valuable they are now and extended them. Sure. And I bet you they, they rallied together as a team, but it was enough individual players out there that did their job when they were supposed to do it and uh, got the accolades and made Pro Bowls and things like that. And, and we're still part of a team, you know? You don't have to go vigilante and just off, off your own and say, hey, I'm going to get mine and forget everybody else. That that will have a team six, um, what is it? Uh, eight, eight, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Or, yeah. Or three and 13, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. you got this guy with all these plays, but yet the team is struggling and they're not in the playoffs, you know? So yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, absolutely. Um <laughs> 